Hello space fan and welcome to space news with what the math this week we're going to be talking about space news that happened between December 6 and December 13th basically last week and we're going to start with this absolutely gorgeous picture of the day from December 12th um, here I'm going to try to show you the whole thing but I think you have to scroll scroll down here a little bit what we have in this picture is the absolutely gorgeous moon the absolutely beautiful Venus this is actually Venus and then on the bottom here we have a little comet this is actually a I believe it's called uh, Comet Catalina uh, that was actually seen in the sky if you were in a br uh, dark enough place and had a uh, relatively good telescope or binoculars with which you would be able to see these three beautiful objects. And here's what this looks like in its full glory. And this is a photo by, I believe, a person named Greg Hogan, because it says so on the bottom. And it's available on NASA website that I'm posting in the description below. Now let's actually start with some uh, exciting news, so uh, right now actually tonight and possibly tomorrow night is the best night to see what's called a Geminid Meteor uh, Shower. And here's actually a photo from a person named Steve who uh, took a picture of this, I believe it was last night. Uh, but this will be going on until, um, on, I believe on Tuesday is the last night, that where you'll, you'll be able to see quite a lot of meteors, possibly a few every minute, uh, falling through our sky and disappearing into the atmosphere. And of course, this will happen approximately the same time next year, but this is probably your best chance to do it uh, this week. And if you'd like to know how Geminid shower or meteor shower originated, here's actually a picture that shows you how it happened. So uh, when most uh, meteor showers actually occur when a comet passes by uh, in the same region where our Earth is, it leaves behind its tail and then we kind of pass through the tail and all of these little pal uh, rocks and pellets just kind of go inside our atmosphere and we kind of fly through the tail of the comet. In this case, it's not actually a comet. Uh, Phaethon or Phaethon or... You can basically read this word in your own accent, um, is actually a near-Earth asteroid that passed by where our Earth used to be, which is really lucky for us because it could have collapsed into us, and uh, left all these little rocks that we now are flying through, and uh, which is why we have me uh, this meteor shower. And so if you'd like to see and remind yourself that we could have had a disaster on our hands, uh, go look into the sky in a dark enough area around 2 a.m. tonight, tomorrow, or possibly even after tomorrow, and you'll see these little pellets and the little rocks fly through the sky. And last week I talked about uh, Virgin Galactic trying to create this rocket that you see right here that will be launched from Boeing 747 and will actually launch into space uh, and uh, will be kind of the new rocket used for uh, space tourism. But uh, they actually are taking this seriously. They, they've created this new commercial that promotes it and they even have a name for it. It's now called uh, Cosmic Girl. It's, uh, it's a new uh, rocket from their family that will be relatively easy to make, relatively cheap to create. And this is what they will do. It will be launched from 747 and blast off into space and then uh, in space it will obviously release the capsule with the tourists on board that will then stay in space for a little bit and then return back to earth uh, you can read more about this pretty cool mission oh this is actually not tourists apparently this is a satellite i didn't even watch the commercial beforehand so they are planning to la launch satellites but i'm pretty sure they will be using this for tourism as well uh, because this way they'll be able to launch rockets relatively cheap by putting them into a uh, higher atmosphere using 747 which is already relatively cheap as well anyway you can read more about this mission and you can watch the commercial in the description below now, some exciting news from the Japanese space uh, agency. This is a news we talked about maybe a few weeks ago. Uh, so there was a mission called, uh, what was the Japanese word for it? Akatsuki, that's right. This, uh, this means dawn in Japanese. And so this was the mission to Venus launched uh, five years ago, but unfortunately its main engine malfunctioned. So the mission could not actually slow down in time and did not enter orbit of Venus and instead overshot it and was orbiting around the sun for five years. Uh, and what the Japanese team decided to do is dump all of its fuel and use its RCS engines, basically the control engines that are used for um, changing directions, changing maneuvers, and all kinds of other stuff, but definitely not, uh, not as a main engine. And they've actually calculated uh, just the precise amount of fuel they needed to try to get into orbit around Venus, and this is actually the picture that they took. In other words, this mission, after five years of failure, was able to get into orbit around Venus and will now start its scientific mission only five years too late. But it's actually pretty exciting because this is one of those missions that we thought we lost, but they managed to completely uh, surprise us by essentially r resurrecting the mission and uh, will now 
return quite a lot of data on uh, Venus atmosphere, on Venus radiation, and so on and so forth. Uh, basically, all the stuff they were planning to do five years ago. But now let's talk about some more sad news, and this is something from NASA. Unfortunately, NASA decided that it will, it will most likely be abandoning International Space Station really soon, mostly to save money because their goal is to one day land on the moon and possibly uh, send more people back to the moon and even um, create a colony on Mars even. But to do that, they need to save money, which is really unfortunate. It basically means that uh, American priorities lie elsewhere. They don't lie in space missions anymore. Um, and so to do this, they'll actually stop sending astronauts to uh, to the ISS soon, uh, which is pretty expensive for them because they're, they're currently using the Russian rockets, uh, and uh, that obviously by itself is very pricey. And because currently ISS actually costs US one-sixth of its uh, total budget, in other words, NASA actually has to pay one-sixth of its budget for the ISS missions, uh, they've decided that they're going to basically stop it uh, soon. But when I say soon and not really soon, uh, I think the year currently stands at 2024 uh, with the, basically the last astronauts leaving on that date. And then within the next five years, they're planning to launch uh, people to the moon and then after about 10 more years to Mars. We'll see how this goes and we'll see what happens in the future. And now, in somewhat related, but I guess a little bit different news, this is uh, more about space games, and this is actually one of my favorite games ever. Elite Dangerous uh, is releasing, finally releasing its expansion pack called Horizons uh, this week, this upcoming week, and they've announced this last week, and basically, this was where you'll be able to land on the planets. Now, I, I personally have already purchased this, but I'm still waiting for the actual release, uh, and what this will allow you to do is... Let's, let me just play the video just to show you. You will now be able to race on planets. You will now be able to fly close to planets and obviously land on them. And there will now be various cities and various colonies on each planet that you visit, which is absolutely exciting because this will make Elite so much more fun and so much better as well. But the negative part about this is that this expansion actually costs like 60 bucks. It's, yes, that's right. This is a $60 expansion, uh, which is probably the most ex expensive expansion I've ever bought. Uh, so if you want to buy both of the games, you, I think you have to pay something like $220 or something. Unless, of course, you bought the original Elite uh, on sale that was going on a few weeks ago. But anyway, I personally think it's worth it because this game is definitely a very original, very unique and a lot of fun to play and we'll be playing this on our channel very, very soon. And we started this with a picture, let's actually finish this with a picture as well. So we've actually received some more breathtaking photos from Pluto. Check this out, this is absolutely amazing. There's like a little heart here and some other surface areas that are very unusual, like what would actually be able to create this? Well, what kind of a surface event would create these scales that almost look like um, ice flows on the lake or something, as if like this was flowing uh, and breaking and then trying to reconnect again. So if you ever watch or if you ever see ice flow, which is this is a picture from Earth, it sort of looks like that. There's like these little um, ice-like structures that seem to have been caused by possibly some kind of liquid underneath, which is really exciting if there is a liquid underneath. But anyway, there's some more pictures uh, and all of these photos are available for us uh, in the link I provided in the description and you can kind of check out some of the details on this beautiful not-so-planet, dwarf planet. Anyway, so this is it for space news uh, from What The Math and uh, in this week we're going to try to finish some more games we've been playing. Uh, I'm gonna try to post more than seven videos a week and also definitely uh, give you guys more Universe Sandbox 2 videos to watch because I know just like myself you love them so much because Universe Sandbox 2 is awesome. But you should definitely expect more planet base, uh, more Kerbal Space Program and of course more Armored Warfare mixed with a bit of war game Red Dragon in it. I'm also kind of planning to start a new space game, I, I'm not going to spoil yet what it is, but there's going to be a new playthrough coming with with a roleplay like narrative, me pretending to be another character yet again. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed other videos as well, if you did and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and game you later guys, see you in the next video and bye bye.